everybody, it's Ben and Beta, and today I want to tell you about a new purchase I made for my car washing setup. So if you watched some of my videos in the past, one of my sort of pastimes and passions is keeping my vehicle clean. I enjoy that because when I'm doing it, I'm not really thinking about anything else in the world. So for whatever reason, when I'm washing my car or detailing, that kind of stuff, I just really enjoy that time. So I'm always looking out for some different products that might make that even more enjoyable. If you've watched my previous videos, you know I have a Sun Joe pressure washer that I got at Sam's Club. It's worked fine for me for the last couple of years. I also had a Sun Joe when I lived in a different state and that worked just fine too. But I saw this company called Active come out with a pressure washer a couple of years ago and I've been keeping my eye on it a little bit. And they have this Active 2.0 that came out recently and an Active 2.3. Between the two, this is kind of the right system for me. I'm not a professional. This is something that I'm hoping is gonna last me for as long as I want it to, and hopefully it's gonna work really well. This is a company that very much specializes in pressure washers and accessories, and I kind of wanted to check them out, so I decided to go ahead and make the purchase. So in this video, we're gonna go over what you all get when you purchase one of these, as well as against the Sunjo. Sunjo has worked just fine for me. I just was looking for something that had a little bit higher water flow overall, so, some of the things that are important about this one, it's actually pretty light, about 24 pounds total, so very light. It also does two gallons per minute, which is kind of a magic number when you're doing car washing, that kind of thing, and it works at about 1100 PSI. It can do peak 1800, but you're not gonna need that for car washing, you really just need about 1100, so this is like a perfect unit for that. The reason why I liked this unit, it's just a little bit smaller and easier to store, to kind of take care of and whatnot. I'll have links to all the products in the description, for this as well as some other things that I use regularly. So if you are looking for some of these things, if you do pick those up, it really helps me out. You don't pay any more by using any of those links, but it does benefit the channel and I really appreciate it. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video out with anybody who might be into car washing too. So the Active 2.0 costs about $350. That is over twice what the Sunjo costs. I'm excited to see how this works in comparison to that, but you may or may not want to spend that much money, but I'll also leave a link to the Sunjo in case you wanna pick that up instead. This unit should last a lot longer than the Sunjo unit does. It's rated for 250 hours, I believe, on the motor versus the Sunjo, which is rated up to 100 hours. So for a little over two times the price, I should get over two and a half times the life out of the unit if it lasts as it's supposed to, which is good. So then let's talk about what comes in the box. So you're gonna get your manual. And again, it tells you it's 1800 PSI at two gallons, but it does tell you the regular operating is 1100 PSI. That's totally fine. Again, that's exactly what you want for washing your vehicle. You're gonna get your hose, but I do have my own hoses that I use that are 50 feet. I believe this is 20 or 25 feet long. So it's about half the length of what I normally would use, but it should make it a lot nicer to use if you're only gonna purchase this unit and not get any additional accessories, which is cool. Next, you have a wand and you got your traditional attachment to the bottom here and then you've got a screw on attachment at the end. And with that attachment comes a foam cannon. We'll give this a try and see how it works tomorrow. I have a different foam cannon that I'd prefer to use, but we'll give it a try and see how it works. So it does have that, which is nice. And then it comes with this wand extension that you put in the end of the gun, which is nice for when you need to go into those hard to reach places. And then that is where you attach your four nozzles to. And my understanding is that these are pretty good nozzles. So we've got a zero, we've got a 15, we've got a 25, and you've got a 40 degree nozzle. And then lastly, you're going to get the active 2.0 pressure washer. And what you get with this is a nice, pretty light unit. You're getting a lot of metal connectors, which often you get plastic on those cheaper ones, which is very nice. And then you're also going to get a very long cord. I think this is at least 35 feet. So this will be plenty for my garage and my use. And the plug also has the reset option, which is always nice. So that's what you get for $350. So I did want to do a quick comparison on what you get with the Sunjo for around $150, sometimes cheaper, versus what you get with the Active. So you get a lot with the Sunjo, as you can see here. So you're going to get the unit itself. And in terms of heft, they're honestly, the, the Act is a little lighter. Um, this is a little bit heavier, a little more cumbersome to use, but it's still fine. <clears throat> you get a gun that is pretty similar. The active gun is far lighter than the one from Sunjo, which is kind of interesting. You're going to get foam cannons so with both. This one does store in the back, which is kind of nice. And it does work pretty well overall too. You're also going to get your extension. You're also going to get your power washer high pressure hose. And this is where the biggest difference comes into play. So the difference between these two is pretty big in terms of flexibility. This is not flexible at all. This is very flexible. So 
that's a pretty big upgrade, I would say, between the two. They are about the same length. You can probably see that this is just much more flexible. This will be nicer to use. If you only need like 20 feet of hose, this is probably all you might need. It's actually a pretty good hose in comparison with most of the cheap ones that you get with these cheaper systems. This hose is a pain in the butt to use and it's very common with other systems. I hated this thing. It just gets tangled up, it's hard to use. They both have about 35 foot power cords and then you're also gonna get your nozzles with this. So a couple different types of nozzles there. You got a high pressure one and then you've got a zero, a 40 and a 15 with the Sunjo. I did forget to mention by the way that Sunjo does come with a couple other tire attachments that go on their wand. I do use these on my tires. I don't connect it to anything, but you can just buy a tire brush and that works just fine too, but they do come with them. So that is kind of nice. So I did want to add that in and make sure I was fair to the Sunjo. If you want to see my review on this, I will link it in the description. So you can kind of compare the two if you want and in terms of performance. What I would say is if you're just starting out, there's nothing wrong with starting here and then kind of upgrading pieces along the way and then maybe going here. There's also nothing wrong with starting here. So it's kind of up to you because this is about $150. This is gonna be $350, it's a big difference. The biggest difference here is that this is gonna last you a lot longer and it's probably quieter, we haven't tried that yet, but that's a big deal there. As far as accessories go, they're all kind of similar except for this hose. Now that all being said, one of the things that I did with this system over time was I upgraded it. And the first thing I did was I got this 50 foot hose from Flexzilla. I also got a quick connect kit and you can see some of that stuff on here right now so i can just quick connect everything together those are pretty cheap i would highly recommend that for anything you buy and unfortunately the Acta doesn't come with a quick connect kit so you have to have one but i already had one so that's not a problem so that was the first upgrade i did uh, along with that i also upgraded to a stubby gun and this is from a yamatic and it was about 40 dollars it came with its own foam cannon and it worked pretty good too a little bit better than the foam cannon from sunjo and it came with a bunch of high flow tips so that was nice. These tips are awesome in comparison to the ones that come with Sunjo. I also have a hose here from Uberflex, so I'm gonna be testing out too. This is that same price of about $50, but these are 50 feet, so I don't need to move my unit at all. And that's a big deal and they're ultra flexible. So again, 150, 200, 250 with the quick connects and everything, maybe 300 bucks. And you have a pretty darn nice system that's 350 so it's all already 50 dollars more it does have really nice tips it does have a nice hose but it's only 20 feet so just something to think about like you can start here and kind of work your way up but again i'll have that link to the review in here as well as the link to the review of all of these accessories so anyway that's a, just a quick comparison between like what you get with sunjo versus the active and now we're going to test the active out see how it works all right the only accessory i'm going to add to test this is for my hose so this will make it so i can quick connect my hose i already have quick connects on my garden hose so that i'm just doing that for that purpose otherwise i'll just be using it exactly as it would come from active so i just wanted to call that out the hookup should be pretty easy we're going to go ahead and just do that quick connect for the water so that's done and then we're going to do the hose the one less than great thing about the hose is it's only 20 feet long which means i'll have to use the move the unit around this is much easier to move than sunjo so i'm not too worried about that so we'll go ahead and get this connected here went on nice and smooth one of the nice things about this one is that it does have a place for all of your tips to be stored. And I do like that a lot. We're going to start out with the foam cannon. So, so far everything's connected nice and easy. Let's connect this to the wand, try to get it unfurled. One thing is that this one does feel a lot lighter than the Sunjo. I don't know if that's good or bad. So this is one of the things I hate about these systems this is why I bought quick connects for everything. Even if you keep this, just buy quick connects, your life will be so much easier. But this, putting these things on is my least favorite thing to try to get threaded and working properly. Still not on, there we go. Now it's connected at both ends. So you do have to use the wand for your tips, but with the foam cannon, you have to attach it here. So I'm gonna put some incredible suds in here and we're gonna foam it up and see how it goes. This is totally a maintenance wash for me. So not a very dirty vehicle. I'm just testing this unit out to see how it works. I have a little bit of bugs and stuff on my windshield, but that's pretty much it. One big difference between this and the Sunjo is this cord is just nice and flexible too. Way nicer than the one that comes with the Sunjo. So that part's kind of nice. And it also comes with some cable management, which I like. All right, let me plug this thing in, turn on the water and everything. See where we're at. All right, we're plugged in. 
not seeing any leaks, which is good. And I believe the manual says make sure that you're getting water. So we are before you turn it on. I need to put a little bit of soap in here. So this just is a quick twist off. There seems to be no adjustment for the foam that I can tell. So it is whatever it is. All right. Incredible suds in. And then because you have to actually twist this on, I think this is much easier to do without that even attached yet. And now we'll see how it goes. All right, turning the unit on for the first time. All right, so we're gonna just foam the vehicle with the active and then we'll rinse it off just to see how it works. There we go. That's not very promising. All right, so what happened there? I just, I needed to push the button on the end of the electrical cord to get us to start it, just like a reset button. And now I think it's good to click on, so we should be good now. Let's see how it goes. All right, so foam-wise, not amazing for sure. Uh, I could have put more soap in, but I think there's quite a bit in there. Now, it doesn't use a lot of water, which is nice, but it's definitely not sudsing the way I would want it to. It does have a nice even spray, though. But you can see I quickly kind of run out of space, and I would definitely have to uh, move this unit to be able to do the whole truck. So that's the foam cannon attachment. One thing I do like, I guess, about the turning thing is that they had, it does work okay, I guess, for screwing and unscrewing pretty easily. But let's put the other attachment on and rinse it off and see how that goes. All right, so now I put this attachment on here and we'll grab our 40 degree nozzle. And give her a try here. Now that works really well. So that that is a lot of water that's coming out of there. That is way more than what you get out of the Sunjo. So that's good. And it's also a much quieter unit. Very quiet in comparison to the Sunjo. All right, so this is the 40 degree tip so you can kind of see how much water is coming out of it. That's a ton of water. And then this is the 25. Good for tires and things like that if you need to get a little extra dirt off. Let's see what that looks like. It's got a really nice spray pattern. It's definitely Quite powerful which is good too and then we have got 15. and zero if you would watch the sunjo video you you're going to see a massive difference there between water and power i would say so this is huge and probably one of the biggest reasons for the upgrade there it's also much quieter than the sunjo especially they aren't too bad the big thing for me is 20 foot cable is just not enough for me. It is nice and flexible though, so it's easy to use. But I'm gonna switch out for the accessories I normally use now and just see how that works with those. So one thing I'm gonna try to do here is go ahead and use my foam cannon. This is the McKillian's Wide Mouth. I like this one a lot, works pretty good. There are others out there that are really good too. I know a lot of people like the MJCC ones. They're a little more expensive though. But I'm actually gonna use the same solution and everything that was in here. So we'll get a chance to see foam wise how this works. And you can also see that the uh, McKillian's holds quite a bit more solution, but we'll see how this works in comparison. I think that'll be a good comparison between the foam cannons. This is but a $50 foam cannon versus the one that comes with the active. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Yamatic short stubby gun with the McKillian's foam cannon, see how that goes. So let's see what the difference is gonna be. Make sure you're getting water out of it, kind of clear the air out of the system. And then we can turn it on. All right, longer hose. This is a 50 foot hose now, so it took a little bit more to get that water through. But it's working. All right, let's see what the difference is between the two foam cannons now.
All right, so I think you can tell there's a pretty big difference between the foam cannon that it comes with and this one. Again, I use the exact same solution from that one. This is exactly what you want. So the Active is doing a nice job with that foam cannon and making this even better. Like this is like perfect foam. So I'm very impressed with that, but this should tell you, you definitely want to upgrade your foam cannon for sure. And I don't think that necessarily the gun has anything to do with that. It's just like the foam cannon itself. That's how good the McKillian's is. And again, I'll have links to all these products in the description and I'm trying the uh, Uberflex hose right now with this. Yeah, not bad. Let's uh, wash this off and see how it goes. So this puts out a lot more water than the Sun Joe. So you can see it washed off nice and easy, really super fast. And uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the whole vehicle, but you got to see exactly how the active works. Again, take a look at that Sunjo video that I did that's linked in the description if you wanna see how that is. It's not bad, there's nothing wrong with it. That's the review of the Active 2.0. You should decide what's best for you. Is it a good investment or not? I'm really happy with it so far. I think this is gonna be perfect. I love the size of it. It's so much smaller and easier to use. It puts out a ton more water. It's much quieter. And so basically in every aspect, it's better than the Sunjo but it should be for the money. So you get to decide which one's better for you. I think you can get a good setup with something that's cheaper, but this is gonna last a lot longer. I am gonna try out their stubby gun at some point too, just to see what that's like versus the Seomatic one. That's on back order right now, so we'll see when that comes in, how well it works. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, live your life in beta, and we'll see you next time.